My name is Billy Bob Niedermeyer. I am a certified member of the Cretans Guild Trio, and you can't teach that. And this right here is Ripkin and Goobs. And they're the wrestling nerds of the Derailers podcast. And you can't teach that. Bada boom! Realist nerds in the room! How you doing? Welcome back, Cretans, to Nerd or Not, episode 29. And tonight we got a really special one. Uh, yeah, it's just me representing the Cretans, and but I'm not alone. I have with me Ripkin and Goobs from the Derailers podcast. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks for having us, man. It's going to be a great time. Looking forward to it. Huge card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't guessed already, we're going to do our predictions of this year's Survivor Series. And I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, before, about, I don't know, say two weeks ago, this uh, looked like it was just going to be another ho-hum pay-per-view and now it looks like we got ourselves a real show worth going worth watching yeah i I was not excited neither was ripkin for this uh you guys mean to tell me you weren't ready for gender versus brock oh no that would have been so bad anybody (laughs) i I mean i can't imagine that 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 feels like one of the the 14 other pay-per-views they do every year where it's just gimmick matches and they do maybe one of those gimmick matches the entire show Yeah. yeah yeah the gender being a former like not a former he's a canadian just like us and uh i still i don't normally root for canadians to lose but i would in that case i love that i I love that everybody knows he's from canada but (laughs) hey he's representing uh this failed project would you call this this uh this whole thing with wwe india a failed at this point oh yeah definitely we'll have to see because they're going to be uh over there very shortly we'll have to see like when gender comes out what kind of reaction he gets they will be going over there real shortly but have you also heard that they've shortened a, a number of dates they've yeah oh really yeah they, they've canceled a couple of appearances and what they're going to do is like the super mega super show like what they used to do with raw and smackdown the same day oh yeah. okay that's some great but food. sorry about the whole gender thing all right so what we got here is we went to PW Scorecards. You can find them on Twitter at obviously PW Scorecards. They make these awesome, obviously scorecards, where you can play along and uh, have little competitions. Guys, before we get started, do we want to put any kind of wager on on what uh, the outcome's going to be for this? Oh boy! Oh, I've put my hand in mouse traps before when I lost at <laughs> things like this. <laughs> Most of the time when someone wins our prediction podcast pool, they just get to change the name of the group. So I don't know if we've ever done anything so high risk before. Yeah, I was thinking something along those lines uh, that the loser has to change their Twitter handle for a week to whatever the winner dictates. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'd be down with that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know about the Jenny Bean might not like that, but we'll change ours. Uh, yeah, we'll do the Rassel Nerds one, yeah, because uh, Jenny Bean uh, controls our Derailers podcast. But uh, we, Shows to her, she's not here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> we do the Rassel Nerds as well, which is the WNW on the YouTube. Go check out the YouTube. Search Rassel Nerds. It's all 2K18. Self-promotion. Yeah, for sure. Get that out there quickly. Cheap pops. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. while we're at it, you know, guys, tell me about Derailers. I'd love to know some more. Uh, well, it, uh, the idea came about when we basically just wanted to do a podcast. Uh, and we will, we were a whole bunch of like guests on other people's shows and stuff. And they always have a topic and, uh, like secret transmission podcast and, uh, best, best darn, darn diddly. And we'd be on there and then we just go on a tangent about random shit. And I think it was miles that said, uh, right on air, like you guys derailed the shit out of our show. And then we look at each other, have that aha moment. They were just like, okay, well, we're going to start doing the derailers and just keep sidetracking ourselves over and over and over again for all of our passengers on the train. Yeah, I think I listened to you guys on uh, Miles' show once, and you guys were doing some kind of rap battle. I was like, wow, these guys, yeah. are, i got to listen to more of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was on the anniversary special. Yeah. I, I, I love your stuff. I love your work. and uh, Likewise. Thank you. Yeah, like the the thing you did recently with the the robots, and then you you transitioned into theme park, and that got my attention because I'm a big theme park idiot. <laughs> but yeah, but going off of that, we'll have to have you on the show one day, and we'll talk more about that shit. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, after today, I will definitely owe you guys a visit, and I would love to be on there. Uh, don't know how good it would be, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, PW scorecards. 
basically, uh, if you've never done it before, they have uh, a scorecard where you have to obviously pick the winner of each individual match that's going on at the pay-per-view. And then there's a bunch of extras, uh, like, say, do you think the match will end in a pin submission count or DQ? And then you have to give, depending on what the match is, they, uh, the PW scorecard people, they pick out all these other side issues. And then you can win, uh, depending on the match, a number of points. You get five points for just predicting the winner of the match. And then about three points for each side item. So right off the bat, we have the Cruiserweight Championship, which is going to be part of the kickoff show of Alonzo Amore versus Kalisto. And the most points you can win if you sweep that is 11. That's a lot now, of guys, points. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it gets higher and higher the more up the card you go. So since you guys are my guest, here's how we're going to do it. Both of you come to a consensus. Oh, yeah. We always pick as a team. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Then go ahead. I'm going to give you the first pick in all the categories. Enzo Mori versus Kalisto. Who do you have as a winner? Ripken, Cal- take it away. We have Kalisto. Kalisto. Yep. All right. Uh, winning by DQ. Yep. Ooh. Uh, Interesting. Therefore, not winning the title. And number of aerial moves, I really don't see it. Like oh, three. I'd say four. Okay, fine. Four. Three and a half. <laughs> One gets blocked. <laughs> Does anything, when Enzo jumps from anywhere, is it really an aerial move? <laughs> it, it's more of graceful falling. Yeah, exactly. Than it is jumping. All right, yeah. And that that four, probably includes like jumping off the ropes and like using the springboard techniques and yeah. But it's all it's going to be all Kalisto regardless. Enzo yeah. will, will maybe do yeah. his middle rope DDT and just you know, yeah, four four aerial moves Kalisto by DQ and not moves to the Little Mermaid like jumping around moves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for my pick, I'm going to go Enzo. I think that um, I I think there's going to be some shenanigans going on because obviously he's a heel and he's doing what heels do best. I think it's going to be, hmm, I would probably go. It's a tough thing to call. Yeah, it is. (laughs) So I'm going to just go out and say pin. Pin by Enzo. Uh, But here's another thing. The number of aerial moves. I'm going to, you guys went with four. I'm going to say, man, that's a pretty good number. I I might have to agree with that, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go six, and that's not including his entrance into the ring. Okay, good. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Because yeah. I'm going to assume that all these aerial moves count like if they're once the bell starts. Or, yeah. It, uh, once the bell rings. All right. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good. I think a distraction finished with Enzo actually pinning Kalisto is, well, is he's just got as his, likely as DQ. He's got his new lackey now, yeah, too, he's, right? He's got, he's got Drew. He's got Drew Gulak. Yeah. yeah, that's right. In Drew we trust. That's yeah. right. Darn right. Damn right. No chanting. Yeah. I love Drew Gulak. When he spelled out soft a uh, couple weeks ago, I was like, I want this man to read at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> all right. Right after that, we have the six-man tag match, and this one is really compelling. The Shield versus New Day. Yeah. It's going to be a barn burner for sure. I mean, it, it, two teams of three guys. This is a traditional tag team match. It's not a tornado match, because I'm assuming. Oh, it would be so good if it was a tornado. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to assume it's a normal tag match. Um, now, who do you guys like for that one? I'm thinking, yeah. No, yeah, no, we got to go with the shield. Yeah, I got to go with the shield, man. <laughs> the big dog's back. The mumps are gone. And he's ready to take <laughs> on a new day. <laughs> Thank God for viral meningitis. It basically saved the TLC pay-per-view. It definitely <laughs> did. <laughs> but guys, Sister Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That would have been a freaking disaster. I kind of wanted to see the train wreck of it, though. <laughs> You know what? I was at WrestleMania where the worms and the cockroaches being oh, projected on the screen. Yeah, and that when I saw that happen, like, what did I pay for this? <laughs> what, what is going on? A lot of your ticket money did go towards that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that projection technology is not cheap. All right. So, what are you guys thinking? A pin, submission, count out, or DQ? Uh, yeah. No, I think it's just normal pin. Yeah, it's they, win, pin. they win clean. Who makes the fall? Oh man. Well, you yeah. gotta think it's probably Roman. Mr. Big Dog. Yeah. Yeah. He runs the yard. <laughs> If Mr. Big Dog makes the pin and suffering succotash. Uh, every every <laughs> He's time, never gonna live that down. <laughs> uh, every time you think New Day, you think taking the fall, you usually think Xavier, but that's never really worked out for us in the past. Picking Xavier, no, it so never has. Let's uh, um, Big E. Big oh, Dog I, takes down Big E. The Big Dog takes down the Big E. Uh, all, right, all right, yeah. Big fuck E it, let's could do take it. down himself with that uh, suicide. <laughs> yeah, dive really. Through the ropes. Yeah. Big E goes for a suicide spear. We always and takes cringe whenever Big E does that move because oh, he lands right on his fucking head. 
Uh, so yeah, so we'll say Roman pins Big E. Number of Superman punches. I'm, I'm straight up just gonna say one for each of them. Three, three. I, yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. That that's a category. Number of Superman yeah. punches. One for one for each of them. So three Superman punches. Oh, it'd be awesome! If it's all in a row. They, uh, <laughs> then you get the spear to all three of them at the same time. He pins all three New Day. Oh God, that could oh, happen. God. <laughs> oh, that just put a bad taste in my mouth. I think it just put a bad taste in everyone's mouth. Yeah, just like Roman. Oh boy, that's a tough one to call for me. Uh, the Shield or the New Day? I would, I would lean to the Shield myself, just like you guys did. Because mm-hmm. um, we have so many world title guys versus a real tag team on the other side. Yep. Yeah, that that's that one's a tough call to call. I'm gonna go the Shield only because. They seem to be well. Actually, they're actually both teams are really hot right now. Yeah, especially after the Hell in a Cell New match. New Day's kind of cooled off, considering how hot they were. You think so? Oh yeah, I think so. I think once they once they had that record, it was kind of like ah, yeah, they're still good. But well, they've been kind of the uh, the leaders of this whole uh, uh, what what do they call the the hashtag? Um, oh, under siege with Steven Seagal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they hired Steven Seagal. <laughs> Be smart. See if a cigar comes out with the new day, that'd be the fucking best thing ever. <laughs> I'm just picturing him doing the fucking dance now, the fucking hip gyrations. And he's got booty O's with him. <laughs> Throwing them on all the kids in the audience. Kids are running in terror. Who's this like, the scary man? <laughs> you better stop running or I'll break your neck. No, no, it's okay. I'm PG now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to agree. I have to go with the shield on this one just because they seem like these guys are just going to get pushed like crazy up till Royal Rumble. Up till Dean turns on them. Really? You think Dean's going to do it? Yeah. I, d- I disagree. <laughs> Dean needs a shakeup, man. He seriously does. He does, yeah. Like after, I was a big fan of Moxley back in CCW, so I'm like, you got to get back to that, man. <laughs> Yeah, probably after another superstar shakeup, they, they might do something like that. Let's see. As far as pin, submission, countout, or DQ, you know, I could see all four of them possible. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Submit. Well, it's, I take that back. Not submission. None of them have a history of doing submissions of any kind. Not a DQ because people want to see a, a complete. So, yeah, this would probably be a pin. Yep. Who makes the fall? I'm going to go out, out on the limb. I'm going to say Rollins makes the, po- the, makes the fall. Very possible as well. Anyone like anyone can make the fall. This is really a crapshoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It definitely is. I think he would get the pin on. I'm gonna say Woods, not for any reason whatsoever. Because of, <laughs> because of his pointy boots. Yeah. Well, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, the he gets he hits him with the trombone. He gets pissed off. Makes the pin on him. Let's go with that. Number of Superman punches. Um, I'm gonna go six. Two each. <laughs> yeah. Really that could, make sure it's it, done. Yeah. They all get back up again. They pins them all twice. <laughs> yeah, because finishers don't mean anything anymore. It's true. All right, so moving on, we have uh, the only match on this card where it's heel versus heel. Oh, no, I, I, dis- I disagree because you got the bar versus the Usos as well. Are the Usos heel? Yeah, they're kind of, they, they've been turning. They're like, like they're anti-faces, I guess. So what, they're just a, tweeters. Two, two badass face guys yeah. who yeah. just don't fa- paint their faces anymore? Like Austin. Oh, okay, fair but, enough. Yeah, no, I, not I, I like Austin. That. They're not as great as Austin, don't get me wrong. <laughs> All but right. they're trying right. to you know, the, do that kind of stuff. To, to be honest, I don't even know who is a heel and who is a face anymore, man. They, they're so bad at turns <laughs> that it's just... It's like they just expect you to know. Like, yeah. uh, oh, they cheer him now. Well, I guess, I guess he's a face. But they never <laughs> got that with Roman. <laughs> the Miz gets cheers oh, every yeah. single week, but he tries so hard to be a heel. Yeah. Oh, he's great at it though. He is great at it. But I think it, that's because that's why he gets cheers. I can't believe he's lasted he's that it. long. Like as long as he has. Like everyone threw him like out to the past. Like. When he got in there, it's like, well, you're garbage. And kept going. Oh yeah, he was rejected heavily by the by the locker room. Props to him. Just a reality star, but now he's fucking. He's up there, man. Now he's a different reality star. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a real sport, Ripkin. No, he's on Total Divas, isn't he? <laughs> true enough. That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> he just couldn't let go of his roots. They, were just, <laughs> they kept pulling him back in. The Miz with the Miz Dirage versus hashtag Moist. Baron Corbin. <laughs> this guy's a true heel. Everyone hates this guy. The, the yeah. locker room hates him. Yeah. I hate his hairline. It just pisses me off. Like, just shave your head already, man. 
Get sponsored yeah. by Rogue Games. Oh, God. Make it a hair versus hair match. <laughs> awesome. The Miz would never lose. I swear to God, if the Miz lost that, I'd probably stop watching wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the line. <laughs> That's where you can't handle it anymore. Yeah, no. Corbin gets to keep his balding head, and Miz loses his beautiful hair. So what are you guys thinking for this match? I, I got it, like, literally just because of one thing you said there and one thing that we all know, and that is Baron Corbin is not extremely well-liked, whether it's backstage or out in the ring. I, I, I think it's going to be the Miz, uh, probably with the outside interference from... The Miz oh, look at the distraction for sure. Yeah, uh, so um, probably be a pin after a skull like, crushing finale. Not that I don't think anything really bad comes to either of these guys if they lose the match. Uh, it's just that Corbin has no one who helps him, unlike the Miz. So that's really the only reason I give it to the Miz. Miz by pin, just you know, due to a distraction, the Miz Taraj will distract Corbin, skull crushing finale, and that'll be enough to end it. So yeah, that's. That's my I like pick. That. I don't, yeah. So Miz with a pin with outside interference or or distraction. Yeah, I'm glad it says or, or distraction. distraction. Yeah. Thank God that yeah. you know it really helps <laughs> specify. Yeah, that thank way God they, that or is yeah, there. Yeah, that way they don't have to actually like strike him in any way. They can just wave at him. Hello, I'm Bo Dallas. Remember me? Well, their music could play, and then he gets a roll up pin. Schoolboy. I guess. Yeah. True. That's all that happens yeah. nowadays. But yeah, that's that's yeah. what we're going with. Good old Miz because Miz has paid his dues, and I guess Corbin hasn't because people really don't like him. So from what I hear. Never been backstage myself, so I haven't seen it. <laughs> one day, one day, we'll, one day we'll make it there. Now, I would prefer it if that is the result, but what I think will happen is going to be a callback to what we saw. I think it was two weeks and three weeks and four weeks ago. I think the Miz is going to get the win by DQ because Baron Corbin is just relentlessly beating the hell out of the Miz. Yeah. Like what he did with uh, Sin Cara yeah. a few weeks ago. So I don't think I there's totally be forgot any... about that. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how I'm seeing it as the Miz with a DQ with no interference or distraction. Because I think by the time the Miz Taraj realizes what's going on, the match will be uh, the ref will have called the, for the bell at that point. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Or he could also beat the fuck out of the Miz Taraj too. Yeah, Curtis Axel doesn't take much. <laughs> <laughs> he has his neck. I think so. Yep. He's got a ridiculous contract, apparently. Oh, yeah, it's like 10 years yeah. long. <laughs> Ride it out, man. <laughs> yeah, Any man. Any of us would fuck. <laughs> paycheck, paycheck, paycheck. Yep. <laughs> Show up well, here. Yeah, I'm with the Miz now. Cool. Should I even take my El- suit off? No, you're good. <laughs> Ellsworth had like a five-year contract and not anymore. Oh, shit. I did not know that. Yeah, no, he's released. I, well, I heard he was released. I did not know he had a five-year contract. I'm not sure if five years was the number, but I know it was a multi-year contract when he signed when he uh, first joined the company. Yeah, he got to live the dream. Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got beat up by a bunch of women. and Strowman. <laughs> Strowman, yeah. That's how I want to go out, aside from the Strowman part, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I want uh, Becky Lynch just jumping on me. and <laughs> Yeah, that's someone here's favorite. <laughs> Speaking of the ladies, here we have the women's title. Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte, which is a compelling, much, much better match than Bliss versus Natalie. Yeah, yes, true. <laughs> it was actually a heel face dynamic. Yeah, it... Uh, well, I I have lots of faith in Natalie. I, I grew up watching the Hart family, so I knew that the uh, the pedigree was there. I know that she has the ability. They just don't let her wrestle. Now, I know Charlotte, she's only been doing this for, what, about, uh, what is this, 2007? She's been doing this for about four or five years. Yep. And she's just rocketed up to the top. Yeah, you could say the same for Alexa Bliss, though. This is true. She yep. did kind of, uh, but her climb was uh, more stable and steady, unlike Charlotte, who yeah, that's true. just exploded. <laughs> Debut on the main roster. Here's the belt! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Congratulations. Go on out there. So what do you guys like for this one? That's a tough one. Yeah, that is a tough one. That is a tough one. Uh, I will, it's, I it's will jump. It's going to get tougher and tougher from here on out. I will jump ahead here and say I do think this is the perfect opportunity for a Carmella cash-in. For the sole purpose of you don't know who the hell she's going to cash in yeah, on. Yeah, she can cla- cash in on Bliss or Charlotte. I don't think they specify in the contracts which belt you have to go after. At least, I, like, I don't know. I don't know the exact rules of Money in the Bank, but... They hint that it's the SmackDown women's title, but yeah. you're right. Yeah. I've never heard anything one or the other. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna jump ahead to that one right away and say yes to a Carmella Cash. Oh. 
And bold prediction. Oh, and now it's asking if it's successful or not to boot. And you know what? I'm going to yeah. say yes. Yeah. Sure. You know, I don't think she's done if anything. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, I don't and think she's done anything terrible. They already warrant. have. This is pretty much like a WrestleMania card right now. So, like, they it's want true. that big pop, right? It's true. Um, so, oh, as that shock uh, moment. As for. So, like, do you think. The Bliss and Charlotte match will be concluded. Then she comes that's out. The, yeah, that's the thing, man. Yeah, I don't know. You know, does she pull the self Seth Rollins and just kind of like run in halfway through because she gets bored waiting and, and then starts whipping the belt around like a lunatic at the end of it? And then like, what if she wins? If that's the case, if she runs in the middle, what does she win both belts? <laughs> like, or just the one she's pinned? Or We're gonna, this is the review of multi pins. She pins both yeah, of them and dates just, both belts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to make it uh, simple on us rather than anything. I'm going to say the match does conclude that there will be an obvious winner to the match and then she'll run in. I think it will be Bliss then. If she's going to cash in, like she's got that surprise. She's going to do it on Charlotte? No. Well, uh, Charlotte wins and then she cashes it on Bliss and Charlotte just lets her do that? Which one's... Alexa Bliss is the heel, yes? Again, because yes. yes. Charlotte's fucking face turn was so poorly executed that I <laughs> never knew it fucking happened. Uh, okay, so... She cried. She cried on SmackDown. Okay, so, okay, all right, hear me out here, hear me out. <clears throat> Charlotte wins by submission with her figure eight leg lock, whatever the hell it's called. Um, Alexa Bliss is obviously extremely pissed to look like the weaker woman, beats the hell out of Charlotte, thus putting kind of both of them in a weakened state, and that gives Carmella the opportunity to come down, smack both of them with the briefcase, uh, and then pin whoever she wants. Yeah. So I'm not going to clarify who Carmella is going to pin because it doesn't ask me to. <laughs> yep. You don't need to. So. If it's not in the rules, you don't need to. So that's my pick. I hope you're okay with that. That I. Kinda, you know what? We uh, ride or die together, man. So, uh, Let's Charlotte run this train off the tracks. Charlotte wins by submission. We're going to be changing our Twitter handle you know right? <laughs> for a whole week. <laughs> <laughs> Number of finishers executed. <sighs> what? What is uh, Alexa Bliss has? What the the insult is the. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait. The, here's the fine print on the uh, the finishers. The figure eight, natural selection, the queen's boot, yep. the snap DDT, and the twisted bliss. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, I am going to say six. Six finishers? Six. Yeah, the, I, I, think up I think she'll try and pull off the figure eight at least once. Twice. And then, like, yeah, like not, not get it the bliss first time. Bliss will get time. to the robes, come back. Yeah. And- I'm going to say six. Six finishers with a successful... We're going to say six. We're going to say six with Not a... Not just you. <laughs> with the, it's my question now, damn it. <laughs> with a successful That's Carmella cashing. That's it, I'm cashing. leaving. Goobs is out. <laughs> Give me the other earphone. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. I like that. I really do like that. And, like, and I'm jealous I, I'm letting you guys go first. God <laughs> yes. damn it. That's some that's some booking right there. Based on their track record, that sounds like something they totally do. Uh, yeah, Charlotte gets a submission win. Carmella cashes in. Oh, wait, did you say if she's successful? Yeah, so yeah, successful cash in, yes, but I just, okay. I don't know on who. <laughs> it's just too good. It, it is really too good. Even if Carmella does not cash in, which, why the hell not? Uh, yeah, I do see Charlotte. Because I don't think people will be expecting it if, like, if that happens. They'll just be like, whoa! Yeah. Well, yeah, that's... She's got rid of Ellsworth and, like, let's go. And now she's on her own doing everything... Doing everything fabulous. The Ellsworth release was a work. He's going to show up and help her. <laughs> or he can be the, the fifth person on the... the <laughs> on the women's team. Yes, of course. Oh, God. Hey, he is the first ever money in the women's money in the bank winner. So why not? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's right. It's an honor. Uh, for my picks... Yeah, um, God dang. I will go with Charlotte with the submission because... I can't remember the last time she's gotten a pin on somebody. Yeah, true. Number of finishes, you guys went with six. Yep. yep. I'm going to say three. Okay. Oh, okay. Opposite. Okay. And Carmella cashing. Divided by two. Oh, huh, Carmella cashing in. I can totally see her doing it. At the same time, I could see her waiting. Also just teasing it, probably. Yeah, tease. Yeah, tease could happen, like a too. massive tease. She would come out, prance around the ring. Yeah, exactly. And then just, like, leave or something. Prant, like, skip right on out of there. <laughs> yeah. Just a reminder, I have this. Uh, I'm going to say no on the, the, the cash-in. Keeping it simple. Not really to go against what you guys say, but I think she would tease it. Yeah, no, true. Oh, no, definitely. I agree. Yeah, no, it's, it fits her character, too, just to be like that. Yeah, yeah. and she's done it once before, so why yeah. not? Maybe she starts pushing. It's like, hey, she keeps teasing it. 
like every other week or so. And then finally, when she does cash it in, nobody sees it coming because they think, oh, yeah. she's just teasing yeah. it again. And uh, I, I wasn't joking when I said that. Here's a reminder just that I have it. That seems like a WWE move. Like, Carmella, go out there yeah. and flash the briefcase just so the fans know that you are still Miss Money in the Bank, please. Okay, You're relevant. Good. Come back oh. now. Come back. Come on. Where are my keys? Jingle the keys. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Hey, this is this is Vince McMahon here. Right? You're gonna puke. <laughs> probably probably fucking car- calls her fucking Caramel or something. <laughs> Send Caramel out there with the briefcase yeah. just to remind the fans. <laughs> we need you to get a little more tan this week, and we're still calling you Caramel. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. Yeah. But moving on. Yep. Let's look at the tag team championship match. Yes, indeed. This will be a good one Ces- too. Yeah, Cesaro and Sheamus, the bar versus the Usos. Now, are you guys as disappointed as I am that we're not seeing subtitles whenever Sheamus talks? <laughs> or Ce- well, Sheamus and Cesaro. Yeah, Cesaro right now. Cesaro especially. Yeah. I love it, though. Like, him with the mouse guard, it just makes me laugh so much. Uh. If there was ever an appropriate time for the what chant, that's it. <laughs> they haven't busted True. that out yet. True. He has, That's like, funny. braces under there, so he has to wear it. I hope he keeps that gimmick for, like, a while. Oh, God, that would be awesome. Let's pick a winner of this Yes, contest. absolutely. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Take it, man. Let's you go tell well, him. Well, you know, i got to go with the bar. <laughs> yeah, of course. I it's love the, the Usos, like, their new gimmick right now. Like, I do love the Usos as well. Yeah, yeah, no, they're great. Like, supreme badasses when they come into the ring. I love, like, the little catchphrases they have now back and forth like i'm really happy they got rid of that fucking face paint because it's just <laughs> getting ridiculous like half a ultimate warrior mask like get out of here man and when they come out now like their song and just everything about them is just great it's just they're so aggressive now and i really like that in uh no, they're, team. they're faces now though so they can't be aggressive somewhat faces now they apologize after they kick your leg out from under you they're not canadian <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry eh <laughs> Yeah, no, I gotta go. I, like, we're both big fans of Cesaro and Sheamus, and uh, I really love them as a tag team and want to see them take the W here and bring it home to the red roster of Raw. These are my favorite questions that involve the Usos, especially are the ones that say who takes the fall and who makes the fall, because literally it's flip a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy or Jay? Heads is Jimmy, tails is Jay. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Pin submission? DQ? Count him? Uh, no, I think it's going to be a pin. Normal pin? Clean win? No, yeah. I'll go cl- clean because they're just going to have a hard-fought match. Like, these two guys, not these two guys, these four guys are going to go out there and just want to showcase how good they are for their brand. And they're both very capable of having great matches. We know that. Yeah. So I think it's going to be like a big, long, drawn-out tag team match with a whole bunch of fucking kickouts, and it's going to be amazing. Okay, then. Well, then who makes the fall? Uh, who takes the pin? No, who makes the pin? Uh, We've already established that so we just have to flip a coin. I'll say Seamus. Okay, Seamus pins Jimmy Uso. <laughs> <laughs> Probably with a big boot. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'd love them for the breakout, the swing into the bro kick. Have just like the Kings yet. of Wrestling used to do Ooh. with uh, Cesaro and uh, Chris well, Hero. Tyson Kidd as well. Tyson Kidd also did it yeah. with the drop kick. But uh, Hero used to do the boot too. Oh, okay. I don't think WWE will allow it. <laughs> Personally, who knows? Yeah, number of Cesaro swing rotations. Oh God, how anyone could even keep track of this is. We've seen him go to a hundred. Yeah, but he's not going to go to a hundred. This isn't pro wrestling gorilla. Um, it's good. What's the last time he's done a uh, his his swinging? Uh, yeah, I've really yeah, seen it yeah, recently. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, well, he might break it out during this or yeah. like cut it off. Well, if we're talking about the finisher, we want. I don't, then. I don't know. Five. Yeah, five. I was gonna say just, five. Just short, short and sweet. If he's gonna do it at all, but obviously, if we if we didn't think he was gonna do it, we'd say zero. He likes so, to do but, that into the sharpshooter, right? Yeah. So, so f- five, five Cesaro that's swing rotations. Five complete yeah. three sixty rotations yeah. with Sheamus pinning Jimmy Uso. The bar win, yeah. That's that's us there. I like that one as well. Take that, Jimmy. My reasons for liking Cesaro and Sheamus get, winning this one is because uh, two weeks ago, Jey Uso had his knee taken out from behind. Yeah, yeah. And he, uh, people in the stand said that he did not get up on his own accord. Yes, I heard that to too. Back. Yeah. And then on last SmackDown, who was it that was not in the match? It was Jay. Yep. Like you guys could tell the difference because I can't. Yeah, that's the thing. I, was, I was. I I would have been guessing if I said. <laughs> I'm sorry if that sounds racist, but you fuckers are twins. I don't know who's who. Uh, I think that I really think he might be 
injured in some way and very much could be the case they just want to alter the tag team match at all yeah, yeah because there'd be a lot of money on this yeah no this is um, a good one here so yeah i would say sheamus does get the pin my god we're matching on a lot of these <laughs> i'm gonna have to start mixing this yeah, but up we're not on some of them so it's gonna be uh this will be true. tight it'll be, it'll be tight uh sheamus i'm gonna say he gets the win with the big boot on a pin on Jimmy Uso. I don't see Jay Uso being much of a factor in this match. Say he gets taken out at some point by Cesaro and Sheamus oh, does the rest. Wow, yeah, as if he does the fucking submission on Jay. Which submission? Sharpshooter. Uh, yeah, Shit. Yeah. No, I'm still going. Uh, pin's good. Pin's good. Oh, uh, yeah, because they don't they don't break out the submissions very often. I mean, Cesaro has won, has won matches with the Sharpshooter, but I can only think of like one or two offhand. Yeah. Yeah, and, and following the uh, the Bliss and Charlotte match, I don't think they would break True. out of Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, especially, yeah. Very good point. Yeah. But that's if they go in the order that this score sheet is saying. As far as Cesaro's swing rotations, I haven't seen him do one in a while. And yeah. my theory behind this is, and this is crazy, I think he's on some kind of medication that makes him dizzy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's why he hasn't done any rotations or any swings. Solid thinking. That's fucking smart yeah. <laughs> because when you get your teeth shoved up into your skull i mean you need a lot i was of just talking to someone today about that and like that just thinking of it again like the hairs rose on the back of my neck and i got the shivers i'm like i've never seen that happen some people get their teeth knocked out like yeah. but getting shoved up like that oh my god yeah that's a new one for me and I just watched it earlier today on a, a botchamania episode and i was like oh god yeah. yeah we actually thought his teeth got like broken half I am the turnbuckle post. <laughs> as far as his swing rotations, I am thinking he's going to do zero. Okay. But I'm going to say he's going to do ten. Yeah, see, that's uh, that's basically why I think we went five. Just kind of a safe... In between. Safe net, yeah. You know, if okay, he, I'm starting yeah, to get dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> if he at least breaks <laughs> he's out He's just going to collapse like, halfway through. Oh, God, that'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I told him not to do it! <laughs> Oh, that'd be funny if that's what costs them the win. He gets <laughs> just too dizzy. Just vertigo. And he just can't control himself Ref anymore. Ref up an X. Jimmy Uso limps over and pins him. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's move to the women's right. match. Yeah, we got some real meat going on here. The women's elimination match. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> there it is. All right, the roster for this, for Raw, we have Alicia Fox, Naya, Asuka, Sasha, and Bailey. But for the women, we have Becky, Carmella, Tamina, Naomi, and question, question marks. marks. Now, apparently, I did read that Lana is like accompanying Team SmackDown. She's like the the manager mascot. Yeah, yeah, the, that's a better word for it. According to Wikipedia, she is going to accompany Team SmackDown. Well, they got to give somebody in the Rusev family something to do. Um, as as for the question marked person, I can't think of anyone that would be because I don't think Paige is set to come back yet. And the only person that I could think that it might be is is the Bella, the one healthy Nikki. Bella. Yeah, you can um, look, but you can't touch. Yeah, exactly. Damn it, John Cena will fucking <laughs> give you an adjustment through a table. So I mean, that that really makes the question hard because it could be someone like, especially if it's someone who's like gets a good pop when they come back. That could say it all right there, like if they're the, like the last person standing. Yeah. There. So that sucks. That sucks. I will say this. That the superstar with the most eliminations will be my future wife, Asuka. Um, oh, they got to make her look strong as hell. For Team Raw. So that's that's definitely yeah, my he answer has a, there. Yeah, he has a weird thing with Asuka. It's not a weird thing. It's completely healthy and plutonic, and she just doesn't realize she loves me back yet. Because <laughs> she doesn't know who I am. One day she'll figure it out. Exactly. So the first superstar eliminated. Again, tough one. Uh, uh well, Carmella Car just Carmella's won a belt. In, yeah, Carmella's in the match. <laughs> Assuming she just won a belt, like she's she's really not necessary to be there. Uh, especially if somehow this match happens before the uh, women's championship, I think it might be Carmella. Yeah, no. If, if, it, this, if, if not, this happens before the women's, it was set up everything perfectly. Yeah. If it's not Carmella, well, it's going to be either Tamina or, or Naya in the sense that let's just lock in Carmella. Okay, fine, fine then. Okay. No, because so. if, if this is before, <laughs> I think this would be earlier on in the night. So if this happens before the women's title match, then or not the well at the same the at the match. same time, if she takes the title from regardless of either Charlotte or Alexa, it gives either of those women to come back down later in the night to beat the shit out of her, and then let someone just pin her easy. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I think shit. it could be Carmella. 
So let's just say Does Carmella. Charlotte do double fucking duty. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck, as for, as for like a winner, man, those question marks, those suck. Yeah, that could really throw off the whole process. Yeah, it could be Trish. <laughs> oh God, it could be a uh, fucking uh, Mich- Michelle McCool. <laughs> She's too busy getting her grave dug. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Euphemism. <laughs> Actually, she is uh, uh, planning a comeback. Yeah, well, that, that's what McCool. I'm saying. Yeah, she was hoping to fight Charlotte yeah. at some point, but uh, I don't know who you think's gonna win. What team? It's like, who's our winning team here? I'm gonna say Raw, just because Oscar's on it. Yeah. That's oh, I don't know because fucking... I think what's gonna happen later. You can't have both teams win. Oh, you think? Raw's Spoiler gonna alert! Win? You think Raw's gonna win the other one? Perhaps. No, no, I don't at all. I think you're wrong there. No, I think it's possible both teams could win. And I, I just think you're wrong still regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be um, the first time. So I'll give him my thinking on the men's match when it gets there. But like, like Raw. We're going to go Raw for okay, the Okay, we're going to go Raw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first superstar eliminated will be Carmella. Uh, I, I think that might be wrong, but because it, it really depends. On, and then the, the fucking question marks, God damn it! Who makes the final <laughs> fall? Asuka. <laughs> my answer for for most of this <laughs> no she can't lose so yeah that makes a lot of sense triple uh, h is probably backstage like vince fuck <laughs> off you're not touching oscar yeah like she's mine who takes the final fall question marks tamina question marks question marks we're going question marks takes the final okay. fall yeah, yeah. Question Marks takes the final fall. Imagine there's a new wrestler called Question Marks. That'd be fucking amazing. Then we really nailed it. I think we deserve (laughs) double points. (laughs) They're dressed as a luchador. (laughs) Uh, Number of superstars left on the winning team. It's Rey Mysterio with fake tits. Oh, God. Does Asuka Ah. win by herself as the last woman, or does she have teammates? No, she's a lone survivor. So just her? Hell yeah. Make her look super strong. She beat Goldberg's reign for the women's champion. I guess. Granted, she didn't, didn't have I, much competition. See, that's, but. that's where it comes in with the men's. I feel like the men's might be alone. Actually, no, fuck it. You're right. Okay, so we'll... All right, okay. <clears throat> all right, so Team Raw wins. Thinking out loud here. Team Raw wins. <laughs> Carmella is the first woman eliminated. Asuka pins question marks for the final fall uh, with one superstar left on the winning team, and Asuka gets the most eliminations because she is my future wife. That is our thinking. You'll be the final on one. the women's match. <laughs> a lot of discussion there. Yeah, Mazel Tov, I hope your first child is a masculine child. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh my god, at least someone's supportive <laughs> of my fantasy dream world. <laughs> Jesus, Murphy <laughs> Jones. All right, that's you. Go ahead. What's what's your uh, watch? It just be a simple line of thinking, unlike ours. <laughs> No, I'm going to go really crazy with this okay. one. Uh, now, with Naya and Asuka, Raw has got all the fucking muscle. They've, there's no competition. Oh, on God, he's side. definitely going to say something that makes me rethink everything. <laughs> <laughs> You've done that to him already, so it, this has been really in-depth yeah, shit really. right now. Go on. Who gets the win? I'm going to say SmackDown gets the win. Oh, shit. Uh, let's, I'll run down this a little bit. The first sumo, superstar eliminated... It's got to be Bailey. I mean, they've been treating her like crap for a while now. I, I would be shocked if it's not Bailey. Damn it, fair uh, enough. Let's, Shit. <laughs> let's skip the next one. Who takes the fall? I believe mm. it will be Asuka. And I think, uh, jumping down to Superstar with the most eliminations, I think Asuka is going to eliminate, say, three oh. of the five competitors. Uh, number of superstars left on winning team. I'm going to say this one person, and this one person is the question mark. God damn Who makes mark. the final fall? Paige. It's going to be... It's going to be fucking Paige. It's not going to be Paige. It's not going to be Paige. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be Ronda Rousey. Oh, shit. Really? That could happen, man. It's set up WrestleMania. Oh, shit. I never even thought of like that. Like I said, it's it's out there. That, it's, that's, that's very out there. I like, I like bold predictions. It's extremely bold. Holy shit. You're on another <laughs> level, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> No, my brain so my head is exploded. done. <laughs> so my head exploded. I swear right to God, there. if that happens, man, I'm bound. I'll change my fucking Twitter name if that happens. <laughs> Give him the win. <laughs> <laughs> he, he nailed the question marks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those question marks, that's really going to like alter everything. Yeah, no, yeah. She has been training recently, so... Because if it's someone just like a Bella, I mean, I don't I don't picture the crowd popping for like a Bella enough to be like, oh, well, now she's got to be the last Like I said person. before, this is like a WrestleMania-worthy event. If Rousey comes in, oh, my God. <laughs> and she beats yep. uh, Carmella somehow and gets the money in the bank. <laughs> well, that's okay. Now you're getting bold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Bella needs to... Uh, 
just retire and hang up those hot pants first. <laughs> they always look like they're going to explode off. It's very awkward. Yeah, awkward's the word. <laughs> it's extremely <Yeah>. exciting. <laughs> is that what the kids call it nowadays? Uh, well, that's that's no, that's some good thinking. That is some good thinking. It's crazy, and uh, let's let's see if it pays yeah. off, or it's just gonna bite me in the ass. <laughs> I, I like the thinking, regardless. So, but let's move on to the men's elimination. Okay. This is the one everyone is paying their money for. Yes, yes. At least they were until about two weeks ago. <laughs> Maybe that's even right. one week ago. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay Trust to play me. the game. Yeah, I, I'd always watch those pictures of the two teams pop up when it was Jason Jordan, and you just see Jason Jordan there, and immediately in my head would pop up, um, one of these things is not like the other, not like one the other. of these things just doesn't belong. <laughs> <laughs> Sesame Street kicking in right there. Yeah. So, yeah. thankfully, Triple H thought the exact same thing, yeah. <laughs> All right, it, you you run the company, you go out there, you do what you, you're going to do best. I did read that Jason Jordan only found out that that was happening, like, hours before Raw started. Oh, no. So that does suck, if that truly is the case, but... But, uh, you know what? That does not surprise me. Yeah, no, the not way at all. The yeah. company's been running. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I told someone at work like uh, Kurt Angle and Triple H are on the same team. Like, what the fuck, man? Are we in the two thousands again fight, to fight Shane McMahon? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to be really excited about Everything the, old is new again. Uh, a lot of people seem to be really excited about the aspect of Bobby Roode and Triple H in the same ring. That could be cool, man. Why, though? I don't get it. Like, why? Like, what's the connection to Bobby Roode and Triple H? It's so awesome. Because it's just Bobby Roode and Triple H. Two great entrances fighting each other. Hey, okay, well, <laughs> it's Nakamura and Triple H. What's your point? Like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> My God, you know, between uh, Finn Balor, Bobby Roode, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Triple H, Dolph Ziggler must be going nuts about over people's entrances. <laughs> 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 that's going to be a long one just to get to the match. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's like 20 minutes yeah, just to start. For sure. It's the equivalent of fucking two Undertaker entrances. And that's that's insane. <laughs> or one WrestleMania entrance. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so you explain your thinking here first to, to why you think Team Raw will take this, and then I'll explain to you why you're wrong and why Team <laughs> SmackDown is going to win. Teamwork! <laughs> Triple H is back, right? Yeah. So, he's not going to be like, I'm not taking a fucking, I'm not going on my back on Survivor Series. Oh, he so would. No, he wouldn't. Maybe especially backstage for, especially he Especially for most of these people here. Um, don't forget, we got Strowman on Team Raw. Okay, yeah. The man has been crushed by a fucking garbage truck and has come back to life <laughs> and scared the Miz and beat the shit out of them. I wouldn't be surprised. Angle, if- uh, we'll see what happens there. He can't have really have a rest during this match <laughs> just like he did the last one. And Joe and Balor, those two could probably take on the whole other team by themselves. <laughs> you know, I really, really... Okay. Well, like those two. So you pointed out Strowman, who does not work well with others, which has been blatantly... <laughs> Shove down our Joe and Balor don't work well with others either, but they still want a fucking match on Raw. Okay, well here's here's what I was thinking as to teams. Okay, my, let's my, let the great Rip Dini go do whatever he wants to do <laughs> right now. My, my my thinking is is plain and simple, and regardless of any backstage little problems they might be having me over. at the moment. Give me your Shark Tank right now. <laughs> Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, you do not leave off of a pay per view this week. No, week. you do not. Therefore. They plain, go to Team Raw. Plain and simple. No, well, sort of. But plain and simple, I think they come down. They ruin the match for Team SmackDown uh, to allow Team Raw. Or, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so you, so you know what? You're right. So, yeah, they ruin the match for Team SmackDown. Team Raw does win. I'm, I'm sorry. For some reason, I was thinking that they were on Team Raw. They were on Raw. My dream booking, I would have SmackDown winning and Daniel Bryan come out and help him win. That'd be sweet, too. That'd be sweet, too. But He's 85%. You know what? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. So I apologize. You're right. Team Raw does win, but it's at the hands of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn coming down to ruin it. Oh, I'm Team totally Smackdown. down with that. You know, I love KO and Zayn. And I think, to be honest, I think Strowman, if he's not the first, he's gonna be one of the first eliminated by some bullshit. Big, uh, big surprise by some bullshit. You know, it's gonna be just like all the guys coming in and delivering one finisher after the other until Cena finally comes and fucking gets fucking the big 400 pounder up on his shoulders because we all know cena can do that yes he definitely can and then the other four guys go and make sure that none of the other guys get in the ring and then boom strowman's gone and fucking 
I it's can a, totally see that happening. And then right away we're at a fucking five on four and your biggest guy is gone. And that right away makes it look like, oh, SmackDown has the advantage. They've got this. Strowman's gone. That opens it up for KO and fucking Sammy to come down later well, and be like, really- hey, we're here to help Team SmackDown. And fucking Shane's like, yay, SmackDown. You're just shitting all over Triple H. And then <laughs> Shane gets a SmackDown from fucking, <laughs> from fucking KO and Sammy Zayn. And then Triple H probably looks at both of them like, hey, I like you two Canadian Bring fucking guys. Rock. You fucking guys, and then they show up on Raw fucking the next day. And get a tag team title match against Cesaro and Sheamus. Let's not go too crazy. <laughs> so, so basically, that 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 is my thinking. That like Braun Strowman first eliminated, uh, fucking as I like the final fall thing. I don't know, but I, I do think it'll be KO and Sami Zayn who who. Uh, Spoil it for SmackDown and win it for Raw. That's my thinking. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, so who's the first eliminated? Is it Strowman or is it someone else? Uh, you want to go Strowman? Let's be bold. That's, we that's bold this bold. whole yeah, thing. Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, this is our Twitter handle is on the line here. <laughs> so Strowman first first eliminated. Who makes and who takes the final fall? And obviously, it can't be KO and Sami Zayn, but they will definitely help. Uh, let's. Shane or Cena? Triple H pinning Shane. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Shane last that long? That's the thing. I don't know. Shane might be the first eliminated. All right. Let's just let's just be bold all the way through here. Let's just go through this. Braun Strowman first eliminated. Final fall. Cena. Okay. Cena by. Orton's known for making it. Who takes it? I, I think Joe or Balor will pin Cena. Let's go, Joe. Joe. Joe pins Cena. Number of superstars <laughs> left, we go. left on the winning team. Two. Two. I was also thinking two. We're going to go two. Superstar with the most eliminations. Orton. <laughs> just to throw his name in the hat, eh? Why not, eh? Just, oh, let's just, go just, Joe. Let's keep Joe going. Keep Joe. All right. All right. Okay. That is our guest then. Team Raw. It's all right. definitely a guest. Yes. That is that is the yeah. definition of a guest right here. When I first saw this, I was thinking, well, good luck to all of us. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, God, it's God a lot to pick from. God help us all. Ten guys. Yeah. Who are all capable of winning this match. There are three, four names on that list I could see not being involved in the end of this match. Uh, Here's my thinking. Angle and McMahon start off. Angle starts getting the upper hand on McMahon, and then Jordan comes out. Oh. And he's like, you didn't, you lost your faith in me, I lost a faith in you, and he starts interfering with Angle. Doesn't really get in the ring, but he's like shouting at him from outside the ring, and that's when McMahon tags out, or he actually comes up to Angle, takes him out. Angle's the first guy out. Ooh, okay. That gets him his rest. <laughs> yeah, that way he won't have to go Shit. entire match. <laughs> There's his rest right there. Yeah. After that, uh, let's see. I'm not going to go through all the steps. Uh, let's say Strowman's the next guy in. So we have all five guys from SmackDown still available. They tag out at a pretty good consistent rate where somebody, let's say Bobby Roode, gets the upper hand on Strowman. I can't believe these words don't sound like coming in my mouth. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> he seems so in the zone, but I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say Cena gets the okay. yeah, gets Strowman yeah. out. So we still got it's still all five on SmackDown, three left on Raw. Uh Joe and Balor start arguing about who should be in next. They start anti tagging each the other. They won the Dusty Classic together and then turned on each other. <laughs> they still won it, damn it. Yeah, they, they still hate each other this week. <laughs> next week's a different story. But yeah, they they start to uh argue with each other, then the arguing turns to pushing, then it turns into just flat out fist fighting between each other. Uh Nakamura comes out, runs over Shinskas uh, sh- uh, I can't say his his finisher. Kinshasa. 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 Yeah. Thank you. He comes out, takes out. Uh, he takes out one of them, and the numbers keep dwindling down. At some point, SmackDown has a really good lead, like say four on two, yep. and one of them is McMahon, who's still in the in the match. That's when I think Sammy and Kevin, uh, Sammy and Kevin, yep. come out. Yep. They start messing like with thinking. McMahon. They start because they're not SmackDown guys. They hate SmackDown yep. or and everything McMahon and everything they represent. So they start interfering. Because everyone kind of knows that Orton has a reputation of being really good in these matches. They're really going to play that up. And he's going to last... I'm saying Orton gets the final fall over God. Over God? Good for him. <laughs> over God. Shawn Michaels in this match? <laughs> <laughs> Randy Orton with an RKO to nowhere to God. Let's say Finn Balor. He's going to get it over Finn Balor. Number of superstars left, we're going to say one because that's the way it always is. I can't remember the last time I've seen a Survivor Series where there's more than one guy on the team. <laughs> Early 90s. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Superstar with the most eliminations. That one's tough. I'm going to say Cena on that one. So, yeah, I'm thinking SmackDown gets the win thanks to... Uh, or wait, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say SmackDown gets the win. Okay. Boy, that was convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> As it should be. It's a crazy... It's exactly how they wanted it. Crazy show. Yeah. But let's get to one that's going to be a little easier to predict. <laughs> oh, one-on-one. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Oh. <laughs> It's only two guys at this yeah. match. Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles, the newly crowned AJ Styles champion. Yes, thank goodness. What do you care? Because <laughs> Jinder would have just... Not that he's a terrible wrestler. There's worse guys in the main event. Well, let's put it this way. Uh, we, yes, we, were at, we were at uh, Survivor Series in Toronto live. Don't we mention saw, this. We were we there saw last year. We saw the, the squash greatest match. Match piece of shit. in WWE no, history. You shut your mouth. <laughs> so we pictured Jinder... Versus Brock being pretty much the exact same thing, except with Brock being on the winning end this time. <laughs> I did not like Goldberg versus Lesnar at all. He probably could have beat him just with the initial tackle into the uh, turnbuckle. A couple knees to the gut, throw him down, and that probably would have been it. <laughs> No F5 necessary. Uh, terrible. Yes, we're happy that it's AJ Styles now. I wish we were at this show. <laughs> They don't like Toronto that much. <laughs> uh, so uh, our our uh, our pick. Got to go with uh, the beast, Brock Lesnar. He lives yeah. in Canada. <laughs> That's not why we're picking him. <laughs> we're picking him because he doesn't seem to lose. <laughs> oh, show, show him pride, man. Uh, it will be a good match, nonetheless. This will be. No I really squash. think like this is actually going to be a longer match. I'm hoping at least like uh, what four to five minutes for a Brock Lesnar <laughs> match. And I hope it's going to go at least like ten to seventeen. I'm giving it. A big seven minute gap there. <laughs> Ten to seventeen, just to be safe. Uh, it'll be a pin, <laughs> I think. I would hope. It's oh yeah, pin. it'll definitely be a pin, unless yeah. the calf crusher yeah. gets applied. I, I I do not. I cannot. Brock Lesnar does skip leg day. No matter how much I fa- I deep, I reach deep within my imagination. I can't dig up a visual of AJ Styles somehow pulling off a Styles Clash. To Brock Lesnar in any shape or form. Off the top rope. <laughs> in any shape or form. <laughs> so, as for finishers, I'm assuming really AJ Styles' only choice for a finisher on Brock is is the calf killer. Well, the for- oh. phenomenal forearm. Oh, and the forearm. He's finished yes, matches sorry, of course. Yeah, the forearm as well and the and the calf killer. Oh, yeah, the uh, the notes down below uh, say for the finishers that are eligible are the F5, the Kimura Lock, the Calf Crusher, yeah. phenomenal forearm, and the Styles yeah. Clash. Yeah, he ain't hitting the Styles Clash on Lesnar. If he does no shit uh, we'll pop shit <laughs> we will go nuts shit man nerdgasm <laughs> uh so number of finishers with lesnar it only takes one f5 as we know um with aj i can um, imagine unless it's roman i can imagine yeah, yeah exactly yeah of course i can imagine aj is gonna go crazy with forearms if that's all he can do oh off every rope twice that's that's a little too crazy <laughs> uh i I'm gonna three say them. I'm gonna say five finishers. Five, five, three, probably like three phenomenal forearms. Let's go I, six. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were like. I in, see your five and raise you one. If it's five now, I'm gonna hate you forever. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I don't like some of your picks either, but we're a team, so <laughs> fuck you. So six, five or six. Maybe five or six. Six. Okay, fine. Six. Six finishers. Uh, and number of German suplexes. He never really does that many anymore. Six. Six. <laughs> six. <laughs> Keep it simple. Good on that one. So Brock Lesnar by pin with six finishers and six German suplexes. Not bad. Seeing Lesnar do one German suplex to AJ Styles, I think would probably kill him. <laughs> He'll like turn inside out for him too. It's gonna be great for me. I'm gonna say AJ Styles on this Ooh. because they are booking well smartly. So they're booking Lesnar as this gigantic mountain creature that belongs in some mythical fairy tale. But they kind of pointed out how the one thing AJ Styles has over Lesnar is his speed. Yes. So he's probably going to exploit that. It's so hard to see AJ try to get a, a pin off of uh, Lesnar because all he has to do is exhale and AJ's going to go flying. <laughs> but he has speed and speed kills. <laughs> Wrestling business. Let's not make drug jokes. <laughs> At the same time, I can see AJ getting a pin over Lesnar more than I can see him getting a submission because that's just balls out crazy. Yeah, true. Uh, count out or D. Thank you. Ah. Boy, if this ends in a counter or DQ, you can imagine how pissed off the world's going to be. <laughs> well, they like to do that to us sometimes, so. They do. Uh, but as far as number of finishers, I'm going to say AJ's going to throw 
everything he can at him, <laughs> including the calf crusher, and then Lesnar realizes, oh, all I have to do is extend my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me, kid. It's like when your kids just on your foot and you shake them off. So I'm going to say, what did you guys end up saying for finishers? Six. Six and six. six. That's a good number. Put one more. Number of the beast, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> well, if I'm going to go one more, then I'm going to go ahead and say nine. As far as number of German suplexes, boy, I, I'm going to say ten. <laughs> Risky. Risky. Yeah, very risky. That's Tom Cruise, man. That's risky business. (laughs) Wow. Lesnar getting 10 German suplexes on AJ Styles and AJ still wins. Oh, God. What what am I thinking? (laughs) (laughs) An epic fucking match. Hey, maybe AJ pulls off one of those Germans. (laughs) No. So, yeah, I'm going to stick by that just because it's just batshit crazy. AJ Styles with a pin, nine finishers, and ten sh- suplexes. Let me let, let me ask you this, and just just out of sheer curiosity, because I feel like I feel like if Rollins can do it, AJ will definitely do it. Do you think uh, there'll be a German that Brock throws that AJ lands? Does the flip and lands it? Oh hell yeah! Oh, he reverses the suplex. Yeah. Yes, okay. yeah. I can yeah. easily yeah, see sure. that happen. For sure. And in which case, that that would not count as a German. I would assume. Soccer mom, AJ just. Styles can do anything, man. <laughs> you know, it doesn't say attempted or not. I guess it it would be a, a complete with impact. Yeah, that's, that's what I would think. Suplex. Yeah, yeah, like a, a, yeah, complete German suplexes. Yeah, not. Why well, if he reverses all of them? Then we're fucked. It's zero. <laughs> Match of the year. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's look at some of the extra things. Uh, announce table destruction. Our choices are English, Spanish, or other. You can get five points. For each one, uh, points are not removed if the table is rebuilt and oh, then good. destroyed again. Good. That's good. Uh, English and Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I yeah, have no for sure. Why not? It's Survivor Series. There's a lot of big guys up in here. We're gonna say English and Spanish for sure. Both. Well, does the other mean like the other commentators up the on ones, the... the ones up at the top? No, yeah, no, no. One breaks those. Yeah, no. I think. Well, usually for the big four, they have. At least three over by Yeah, that's side. true. Like the Germans are the Shit. fucking someone. I'm still going to just now, say the English and Spanish. Yeah, yeah English and Spanish. Yeah. Spanish, especially. When is the Spanish table ever avoided fucking destruction? Almost never. <laughs> now, will they have the raw announce table over at uh, at ringside, or will they have it over by the the, the stage uh, see, where they that, normally keep that? That's the thing, that. isn't it? Usually, isn't that usually how they do it? Whereas, like one's raw, yeah, one's Spanish, smackdown, smackdown, one's Smackdown, one's Spanish, <laughs> one's German. I've seen up to like four or five up at ringside. It's amazing how many of those fucking things they fit. Five? You have some crazy. Maybe dreams. not five, but definitely four, because I've definitely know I've definitely seen them have the Germans, the Spanish, and then the yeah, two. Yeah, I've seen that. And then the two English. So. Yeah, that's yeah. So that's that. Uh, what's uh? Let's see how creative you guys think. You think uh, English, Spanish, and other, or I think just English and Spanish. Yeah, those go with the two. Because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to put myself out there that there'll be Smackdown another. Smackdown and Raw <laughs> are both English tables. That would count as one yeah, table. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. English and Spanish, no other. The other will be fine. It will be left alone. They'll be like, nah, that guy's cool. I like his table. Leave it be. What I love is when they they destroy the Spanish table, they just leave the rubble there. Yeah, exactly. The, <laughs> make them stand. stand. <laughs> make them stand. They'll rebuild the English table and then be like, ah. And then stop. they'll build the wall around. It. <laughs> Sorry, Tito. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say all three. All three. Yeah. Safe bet. It is a safe. Yeah, you're not gonna lose any points if you get one wrong, but. I'm going to say all th- Wait, do you not lose any points? Five points. Uh, just reading the fine print. No, it doesn't look like it. Shit. <laughs> yeah, so I'll say all three. All right, so finally, the unscheduled appearances. These are guys who are going to run in or do unheard, uh, unseen interviews backstage. What are you guys thinking for the five names? Now, technically, you already you already came up with the big Ronda Rousey thing with that. I guess yeah. that would technically kind of go into this. It definitely would. As as for me, I'm I'm still going to say no, no, no. I mean, nothing nothing other than the usual. I mean, you'll probably see. I think you'll probably see like Daniel Bryan, but I don't with that tech. No, it says like in the unscheduled. bottom that it doesn't count. Yeah. Like no, no GMs or anything. No, I don't I don't think we'll see like a debut of anybody or uh anyone like you know. I know Hogan's on We're gonna eat our words as usual. We're gonna say zero. Yeah, no, no, zero. Now you you don't lose any points if the guys. Well, don't I mean, show obviously up. there is at least okay. one, obviously there is at least one because there's question marks. Okay, let's leave one. So <laughs> we know there's at least one. I we just don't know who it is. <laughs> what does this say? Ronda? Just <laughs> the Steelers. Right, uh, do, uh, do we have to pick exactly who? It, oh, five. Each correct name. Okay, yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. So so we don't lose points. Ronda. So Ronda Rousey. Undertaker. <laughs> 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 We're not going to lose Hulk, any points. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, fucking let's uh, throw it out there, man. The Rock. Um. <laughs> oh, he's. <laughs> Actually, that one's likely. Oh, really? It, the it, Rock. Possible. <laughs> one more. Um. Uh, me. What? 
Meat? Like the guy... Sean Stasiak. <laughs> Sean Stasiak? <laughs> He's a doctor now, man. He's way too busy for that shit. Yeah, well, he could go throw up the axe and, like, help everyone out. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, R- Ronda, Rock, fucking Undertaker, you know, Big Show. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. uh, Sammy and Kevin, because they're, oh, they're technically unscheduled. Uh, yeah, no, okay, we, we changed our picks. <laughs> Sammy Kevin. Ronda the Rock. Ronda Rock. The set of WrestleMania shit going on there. And then... Uh, well, Stephanie doesn't count. She's an authority figure. Neither does Daniel Bryan. Um, mm-hmm. I, think that, I think that's... Yeah, let's just go with that. Uh, Rusev. Just because he's not on the card. It's a Rusev Day every day. Exactly, so... Every day needs to be Rusev Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jenny <laughs> Bean actually says she wants a mini calendar with Rusev Day on every day. <laughs> Rusev a day calendar. Yeah, just different pictures of Rusev. She was awesome so excited got, like, about that. You got like different Rusev facts. If it was like a day at a time, you just tear it off. <laughs> On this day, Rusev killed three bears yeah, exactly. with his bear head. <laughs> exactly. Like awesome, awesome made up facts. Like All right, so your five are Owen, Sammy, The Rock, Ronda Rousey, and... Rusev? Yeah, yeah, let's go for let's it. Let's go that. <laughs> You're probably going to name a bunch right now that we're going to be like, fuck, fuck, shit, ass. <laughs> well, some of them already named, and they, they kind of agree with you guys, with Rousey, Owens, uh, Sami Zayn, Jason Jordan. Yeah. 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 Let's see. I need one more. Who's probably... Uh, you know what? And for the hell of it, I'll say Paige. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. This is her house. <laughs> All right. Aren't you happy you had us on our show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you kidding, guys? You, This is awesome. I, I love every second we're doing yeah. this. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've written down the results, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Lots on the line. Guys, oh, yeah. yeah. Lot, well, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Run with that. You, you really don't want me to pick your Twitter <laughs> handle. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I think I have to have some followers first. <laughs> It's it's not hey, easy. Who knows? Maybe it'll spike after that. <laughs> so, guys, tell us once again, where can we find the Derail podcast? Uh, the Derailers podcast is on iTunes and Stitcher. That's really it at this point. We're hoping to uh, expand that market a little bit. Yeah, get on to everything else. So. But uh, for now, it's just iTunes and Stitcher. You can also watch some of the videos on YouTube. But for now, we have stopped doing the video thing to focus mostly on the audio. You can uh, find a lot of WNW yes, on YouTube, though. Which is, yeah. We take a whole bunch of people from 2K18 that we created ourselves. We film it all. We do commentary on it. We book everything ourselves, and it's a great wrestling experience. It's our own e federation, you could say. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. and uh, we just get really, really in depth, and it takes a lot of time to do that shit. <laughs> And yeah, that's about it. iTunes, Stitcher, and YouTube. Well, thank you guys for being on so much. Thank you. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. We'll do this again. We'll probably do this about once every uh, for every the big four pay per views. Yeah, and maybe I can get Jay or Corey to join us for one of these. Because... <laughs> It'd be great to have them on the show. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure they'd love it. Uh, I'll pass the word along. But guys, thank you so much for joining us. We feed off dialogue, and we ask you to like, subscribe, and engage us in the comments on anything you've have you've heard us talk about today either here uh, Facebook Twitter at Cretans Guild so to all of our followers new and old we like to say welcome to the guild <laughs>